Hello again, friends, and welcome back to my ongoing demonstration of Bomb Squad Academy. We've covered the basics of electronics and also logic gates. It's time to move on to more complex circuit designs, and so we open the combinatorial chapter. Let's start with a basic tutorial. Time to learn about another logic gate. This yellow component is an OR gate. The OR gate lets current flow through its output if either inputs have current flowing in. Try for yourself. So if we turn on either of these, it will flow through the OR gate and activate the buzzer. You have to figure this one out. Good luck. Alright, so if we look at our detonation path, if anything flows through this OR gate, the bomb will go off. This is wired to nothing. That plays in our favor. But it also means that anything that goes through this one branched circuit path will trip the bomb. That means that we can have nothing coming out of this AND gate. And for that reason, switches B and C must remain turned off. However, if we activate switch A, we'll satisfy this AND gate, and having even one signal go through the OR gate, we'll still pass it on to the disarm. So we're going to do that now. Another day, another successful defusal. Okay, on to the next. This next bomb has a new component on it. Good luck. Okay, so we have a push button. Now, if I push this button, it will probably pass current through. And on the one hand, it will activate the disarm on B side because it goes through this OR gate. But it will also satisfy this AND gate and blow us to kingdom come. However, if I turn off switch C, now, no matter what happens here, the AND gate will not be satisfied and it won't pass a signal along. So I can push this button and I can activate the B disarm like so. But I still have to activate the A. If we trace the A backward, we have an AND gate. Now we can satisfy the AND gate by flipping this switch here and then we can take this rotary and set it to this position and then turn on the switch here. So now all we have to do is push this button and we should be able to disarm the bomb. Here we go. You got it. Push buttons only let current through when pressed. Okay, next level. So we've got four switches here. Alice, Bob, Charlie, and David. The problem here is that we have this OR gate connected to the detonator. So if anything comes out of either of these two AND gates, we're done for. Now, let's take a look here. Now we can turn on David, and if we follow the pathway around, we've half satisfied this AND gate which leads to the disarm. So now the question is, how do we activate the other side of the AND? Well, we can turn on Alice. That'll satisfy the AND and trigger the disarm. It will also half satisfy the AND, but half is not good enough, so still no signal will flow through the OR to set off the bomb. So, Alice, you're up. There we go. We've saved everyone. Hooray! Time for the next level. Keep going. You're doing great. Of course, I'm reminded of a line from the promotional trailer for Team Fortress 2 where they're interviewing the demolition expert, and he says, What makes me a good devil man? Well, if I were a bad devil man, I wouldn't be sitting here discussing it with you, now would I? Okay, enough of that. 
All right. We can block this and by flicking this switch because this is currently connected to nothing. So no matter what happens here, this and will be blocked. I can turn this rotary down here. We've half satisfied the and here. We can activate this switch. Current will flow through the ore, flow through, satisfy the and, and disarm the bomb. So here we go. Look at you defusing all the bombs. Good job. Well, thank you. For this bomb, you'll have to think through the steps first. Warning, buzzer may activate when in use. Yeah, I can see why that is, because we can't have anything going through this ore. So, as a minimum, I have to divert current from the push button to the buzzer. But we also have to make sure that nothing goes through this AND gate, so this switch has to turn off. Now, if I turn this switch on and then push the button, let's look at what happens. Current will flow through here. It will half satisfy this AND and this AND. Now, if we use this switch, turn it on, and push the button, current will pass through the AND and then through the OR and disarm the bomb. So let's do that now. Congrats, you saved all the children. Oh, well, happy to be of service. All right, on to the next level. Okay, the next few bombs are going to test your skills. Good luck. All right. Here's the detonate path. We can't have anything going through this ore. Now, this input is connected to another input, so I'm not overly worried about that. But we also can't have anything. This ore is connected to this wire here, which is connected to this pathway, which is part of an AND gate, which we're going to need in order to activate the B disarm. So, we could cut this wire, and that would keep the ore from being triggered, so we're going to do that now. Alright. Now, the C disarm flows through this wire here, and we already have power here, so if we throw this switch, we should be able to activate C. Okay, that's good. Now, let's see what we need to do for B. We need to have current flowing through these two inputs, so we'll do C. And I think if we throw D, not only will we activate B, we'll be able to flow through the OR gate and activate A as well. So let's do that now. Sure enough. Fantastic. All right. We're rocking. On to the next level. Work your magic. Of course, I love the comment. Who did this? All right. We have an OR gate here. We have to fix it so that nothing flows through here. I don't think we want to make any changes here, because if I flick this switch, current flows through, we blow up. If I flick this switch here, current flows through the OR, again, we blow up. We don't want to touch any of this. What we can do is redirect the current flow here, and then here. Okay, so that's half of the AND gate. Now we need to get current to the other side. So we've gotten this far, so let's just turn this rotary here. Congratulations, you defused the bomb. Okay, on to the next level. Don't waste any time, defuse the bomb. Alright, another ore gate. Can't have anything going through either of these, so as a minimum we need to turn this off. We have to turn this switch, because if I push this button, current will flow through here and set off the bomb. So I'll 
That keeps this path from being destructive, but still nothing can flow through that ore. But that also means that nothing can flow through this AND either. And with the switch, this switch in its current position, if I push this button, current will flow through here and here and here, and then we're dead. So I'm going to aim this switch here at this off toggle. That way the current will go nowhere. And with this AND only half satisfied, nothing will go beyond it. So that protects us. Alright, we still need to disarm the bomb. Well, I can flick this switch here so the current will flow through this AND gate. I can turn this switch so that when I push the button, we'll have current going through here and here satisfying this AND. We'll also have current going through here. Combined with this, that will satisfy this AND, which will pass through the ore and disarm the bomb. So, one, two, three. Ain't no stopping you, is there? We shall see. All right, next level. Oh, hey, this board looks really familiar. All right. Must defeat the ore. All right. So, this ore goes back over to this green wire which connects to this point on the pathway, which we... This pathway... We need this pathway to do the A disarm, but we don't specifically need this wire. There's nothing else depending on it. So we could probably clip this wire. But there might be more that we have to do. If I flip switch number one, I'll half satisfy this AND, like so. Now, if I flip this other switch number one, what will happen? We will half satisfy this AND and also this AND. We'll fully satisfy this AND, so we'll be able to light up B. Alright, so let's give this a try here. Okay, that's That switched us from A to B. Well, we got another problem here. If I flip this switch, I'm going to fully satisfy this AND, which will pass a signal through the OR, and kaboom. We gotta cut this wire too. Alright. So if I flip this switch, we'll satisfy the AND, send a signal up to this, satisfy this AND, and disarm on the A side as well. So, here we go. Very good. Okay, time for the next level. This is the final bomb in this section and it's really complicated. Good luck! Alright. We've got a triple input ore right here. That's gonna make this tricky. So let's go through them one at a time. First thing we can do is turn... Well, <laughs> I was going to say turn this rotary, but if we do that, there's current flowing through it, courtesy of this yellow wire, and kaboom. But cutting this wire will only affect a pathway leading to destruction. So let's cut this wire now. Now, we'll turn this rotary back toward this severed wire, so right now this is talking to nothing. That's fine. This other pathway flows through here. Now, this is part of a pathway going through an AND gate. If I push this button, we'll satisfy the AND gate, pass the current through the OR, and boom. But I can turn the rotary toward this other rotary, which is turned away from it. So this is, a, this is like a, a self-closed pathway. So nothing's getting through here. Even if we activate the sand, nothing's getting through. That's what we want. All right, so that being done, let me push this button and see what we get. Okay, so we have satisfy this and. But if we flow th current through here, we're going to trip the ore and once again, kaboom. So we're going to turn this rotary toward this. 
Not to mention the fact that current will flow through here for the C disarm. So I think we're in good shape there. Now let's look at B. If I turn on the B and push the button, we will activate this AND, flow through here, and same thing for A if we turn on. Oh, congrats. Okay, well, we got congrats. And if I activate C, then pushing the button will satisfy this AND and this AND, which will flow through their respective pathways and activate disarms B and C. So let's do that now. Here we go. Congrats, you are a legend. Well, you did it. You are a legend. So this completes the combinatorial chapter of Bomb Squad Academy. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.